Good evening, everybody. This is the March 23rd already. Um, I had a little bit of a rough week. Um, on Wednesday and Thursday, they had annual training, which is a lot of physical stuff. But I made it through it with the help of God, of course. And basically, I did fairly well. Uh, I still am doing pretty well with my life. Um, and just today, I did something different. I ended up going to a free web site building called uh, webstart.com, created a complete web page, and I sent the link on my Facebook and my Twitter accounts. I also um, have other ones that are on my laptop right now that I might be posting at a later time. Um, this, this was a challenge for me because it's been well over 10 years since I built a web page. Now, of course, there's more to this than, than me just telling you about what's been happening. But I'm hoping that with the combination of these YouTube um, videos, the um, website now, being on Facebook, being on Twitter, that I'll be able to hopefully get some of these books to start selling. Right now, they're not really selling very well, so that's where that's why I'm mentioning that. Now, just just to carry on with that, we're going to do another promo today, okay? <coughs> okay, you have my first two books. Um, the, the first one is on the left hand side is called Three Strikes You're Not Out that's my autobiography part one the second one is called Pride, Abuse and Mental Illness this one here is the second half of my autobiography and it uh, the first whole chapter is dedicated to some of the abuse that my mom experienced through 56 years of her life now, these were published in 2011, and basically, um, they're with AuthorHouse.com, um, which was my first publishing company that I went with. Got a pretty good deal on it, but like I said, about two years, not making any money so far. And so I decided to continue on with my writing, uh, and I came up with two more books, and... They were published on the 25th of January this year. These are um, Living for Others, which is a devotional, Cancer to Be or Not to Be Letting Go. Okay? The devotional basically is a little, is a short true story and has a lot of shared Bible, Bible verses with it. The cancer book is, um, it's a realistic story about some of the fears and, and procedures and everything that I, I went through when I had my level force of uh, cancer. Now, this uh, last two books were published by xlibre.com, and they gave me a better deal than Author House, which is why I went with them. Now, I, I do have another one called Dysfunction uh, in Progress that I've, I'm about 40-some pages into it. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. People do ask me that. Um, but I'm going to continue to work on it, and maybe it will be posted again sometime this year. Now, I have five more fictional books and um, they're already, it's about ready to be published, and we'll see if I can uh, manage to maybe get those published next year, maybe, okay? Uh, I'm hoping, my goal is to have 10 books published before I turn um, 65, and I think I'm headed in the right direction. God allows me to write, I'm going to continue to write and do well. Now, 
All these books can also be found at barnesandnoble.com or amazon.com. All you have to do is uh, do a search uh, under books, type in Paula Jean, P-A-U-L-A-J-E-A-N, middle initial is A for Ann, and the last name is Anderson, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N, and you will find all four books. They come in hardcover, softcover, and of course ebook for those that uh, use like a Kindle or, or want to view it on an iPad or even on a laptop. Now, I'm hoping that people are going to be interested in these books and you know, basically, I love to write, and like I said, as long as God allows me to continue to write and publish, I'm going to do that. It's one of my hobbies today. And I'm hoping that everybody checks out my wall on Facebook.com and also checks out my Twitter account and become a follower. And I'm wishing you everybody a blessed Saturday. And God bless you all.